Hey everybody, okay, I'm back. I want to show y'all some pictures. Um, now, my aunt, who has my grandmother's book, she lives in my grandmother's house now. And her husband, remember I told you how she, her husband has this job where he goes and he cleans out houses, like, you know, when people just up and leave or they get evicted or whatever, and they need somebody to come and clean the house out. Well, he was one that would come and do that, and he could keep whatever he wanted. That's how my aunt has garage sales all the time because from what they collect. Well, we were there one time and, uh, well, actually my brother, my brother, um, I have six brothers. So one of my brothers, um, he had, um, he's close with my family in law card. He's the one that my aunt told him that, Hey, yeah, your sister's been coming over here and she's been asking for my mother's, um, spell book. And I told her I don't have it, but I do have it, and she's not going to get it, and she's not ever going to see it. What a bitch. Yeah. After she told me, oh, I don't have it, I think I must have thrown it away. All that witchcraft stuff really scares me. I'm so scared of all that, and blah, blah, blah. Right. All lies. Why would you lie to me? I, like, again, we went over this over and over. I totally get that that's her mother's spell book, because I, I have my spell book, and you know, it's going to go to my girls. So I totally get, this is your mom's spell book. I just want to see it. That's all. I just want to see it. Anyway, so she was telling me she didn't have it, blah, blah, blah. So when my brother was over there, she's like, yeah, you know, she keeps asking for the book. I'm, I told her I don't have it, but I do have it. It's inside and she's never going to get her hands on it. She's not going to see it. I don't know why she feels this way about it, about me not seeing it. I have no idea. But whatever. So my brother goes over there and he helps her husband. He's not our uncle. Well, I guess he's like our step uncle. I don't know. But anyway, she's married to him now. And um, he goes and he helps him go and clean houses out for extra money. And so um, he had told me that um, when they were there at one of the houses cleaning up, that they have found this devil bowl, he said found this devil bowl I'm like what are you talking about he goes yeah well, it's a devil bowl it's got like it's got like um goat's heads all around it and you can tell that it's been used you know for whatever you know I, my brother likes to stretch the truth and he added a little bit of his own story to it whatever so when we were there I asked my my um aunt do you have that bowl or I didn't ask her I asked her husband he said oh yeah I have that bowl and so he went in and he got it. Now the story goes like this. They went to go clean a house that someone had just up and left. They don't know what happened, but they had just up and left. And he said that they left everything. Literally, they left food in the in the refrigerator, food on the table, like where they were just eating. They just up and left. So, you know, they kept a lot of their stuff. But he says that, um, that um, no, that wasn't that bowl. I'm lying totally lying on that one that was another story he told me about something he uh something he he had found this one is that he found this bowl they went to go clean up the stuff that was left behind because the house had burned completely down right it had burned completely down so they were going to to clean up the the stuff that had burned and um when he they were going through everything and they were scooping up like um they were scooping up um i'm gonna say dead animals they were scooping up all the the trash and stuff underneath all this burnt stuff they found this bowl and the bowl had no scorch marks on it it wasn't black nothing it was just perfect just sitting there on the ground and so um he said yeah he's like this bowl is totally evil. It wasn't even burned or anything. The whole house was burned and this was the only thing that was good. So anyway, he said that he was going to sell it to my daughter, my third daughter, who really loved it. And he, was, he told her he would sell it to her for, um, he would sell it for $30 to her. And um, she didn't buy it at the time. She said she's going to go back and get it. And so she hasn't gone back to get it yet, but... Okay, so this is um, part of it here. You can see um, the, the goat head. 
And my brother's like, oh yeah, they used it to do um, all kinds of rituals and stuff. Really, he didn't know. My brother he was just lying. <laughs> but anyway, so that's it has some words on here. That's why I was trying to like zoom it up so you could see. You can't really even tell what it is, and even in person, you couldn't even see what it said. You know. Um. Oh my God, I'm so hungry. Stomach is growling. See that? Okay. There's. Did I go this way already? No, that's the other way. There's another picture of it. I mean, it's really pretty. Um. Okay, and then I'm going to show you the video that I took of it. Where is the video? Okay. He says he hasn't cleaned it up or anything. That's just the condition he got it when he found it. I didn't pick up anything off of it when I picked up the bowl. I didn't pick up any kind of of uh, any, you know, energy or any negative energy or nothing. I didn't pick up anything. That doesn't mean that there isn't anything on there. I just, I myself personally didn't feel anything. Anyway, so, um, yeah, he was willing to let that go for $30 and... We did not, um, my daughter didn't buy it. It has a, a year on here. It says, let me see if I can zoom it up. It looks like one, maybe 1911. <coughs> if those are letters, I can't tell. Do you see that? I don't know what that says. Um, let's see. Not the letters on the bottom were from my shirt, but look at the top. I'm trying to angle it so y'all can see it. Why can't I do this? No, I'm probably frustrating the hell out of y'all. Like, make it bigger, Murphy! <laughs> okay, so... It's really hard to tell what this says. Anyway, so yeah, that's the story about the devil bowl. <laughs> she, um, that's as far as I'll go on my grandmother's, um, land is just to that porch because, um, I truly feel, feel that there is some negative, um, there's something evil in my grandmother's house. Um, and, uh, she always, you know, my my aunt will always invite me. Sometimes she does. I, I think maybe once or twice she invited us in, but other than that, I guess maybe she already knows that I won't come in. Um, anyway, I just wanted to show y'all. I don't think I have any other pictures of that or the school. But yeah, definitely, if y'all are interested in that school, I would look up the... Um, I, you know, I actually have tried to look it up... Um, online to see if there's anything about this vocational school in Lockhart, Texas that was that was there in the 1900s and I have not found anything on it. I'm sure if I did a little more digging I could find it but if you look at that picture that I showed y'all with the um you know with the dates on it it'll maybe you can find something on it um yeah, it just says um, Lockhart, Lockhart Vocational High School 
This was in the 1900s. You know, there's something I wanted to do. I wanted to show you. We're at 10 minutes. Okay, cool. Let me show you something really quick. Let me Google it up. Hold on. Guys, I'm so hungry. I'm going to go and eat that um, that dressing that I made yesterday for my, my um, zucchini noodles. Good Lord, that was so good. Yeah, I'm going to go make that. But I'm going to actually make it over... Um, over pasta uh, instead of using my zucchini and carrot noodles. I wanted to show y'all this house. Uh, okay, remember I was telling you about the house that we used to live in in 1600 Pennsylvania um, in Austin? Okay. What's happening? It keeps like flashing. Okay. Hey, where'd you go? <laughs> okay. Oh, it's doing a street view. Okay. I don't know why it's flashing. Here's the house. See the house? This is the bay window. This used to be my room. It's really gone to shit now because it used to be beautiful. Um, let me see. So you see right here, okay, right here, this is a land that's next to it. Come on. That's the land that's next to it, all right there. There's a pond back there. And this is the driveway that I'm, I was telling you about. And there's a wraparound porch. And then this is all the neighborhood full of spooky houses. And then here is the school right across the street that my daughter went to. This is Keeling, um, uh, what do you call the school? Um, it's a science academy school. I'm not good with this school. I mean, the whole, um, whatever you call it. Let's see if I can find a better picture. It's a street view. Okay, hold on. Let me see if I can find something better. Ooh, my stomach is growling. All I had to eat were, were um, my bananas this morning or for lunch. So I'm super, 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 super hungry. I don't want to see that boo boo um, street picture. I mean, yeah, it's cool so you can see, but my goofy ass can't figure this out. Well, it's just because I want to. I wanted to show y'all more of the house, you know, and it's a really, it's such a shame because that house was so beautiful when we lived there and it just looks like now it has not been taken care of at all. Oh, let me see if I can do it this way. Neighbors. Um... Is this it? I'm asking y'all like y'all can... Oh, no, that's not it. I swear. I need glasses. I can't see. Um, I'm going to try one more. Oh, well. I can't... Um, I can't uh, find it. Uh, is this it? Mm-mm. Just that, so anyway, if y'all get on and y'all type in 1600 Pennsylvania, Austin, Texas, you will see that street view that I was trying to show y'all. And then you can look and see if you can zoom it up anymore. But the house that's next to it, the little pink house that's next to it, that's where the lady lived and she told me how her father or her uncle died there. But yeah, it's so overgrown, you can't even see the you can't see the wraparound porch you can't see the the fountain that was back the pond it's just really really nasty now just that's so bad to see anyway guys i hope y'all like that story i'm still going to do the story about the boy that um came to stay there that i had to help 
I promised his mother that I would, you know, take care of while he was there. Um, so I'll do that story, and that's about this house. Before I make that story, I'll see if I can find a better photo of it, and then go from there. All right, guys, as always, I love you all, and bless you. Bye.